Hey Warriors, welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog, I actually wanted to talk about a book that I just finished reading called Sugar Surfing. But before I get started, please hit that subscribe button. Your subscription just means that you want me to share new videos. So you may or may not have heard of this book. I actually just bought it a week ago because somebody was asking me, have you read it? And I said, no, but I've heard good things about it. So I thought, why not buy it and read it myself? So I can see what all the fuss is about. The author of the book is Dr. Stephen Ponder. He's been a type of diabetic for well over 50 years. He's actually a doctor, pediatric endocrinologist. So he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes during a time where there wasn't all these fancy diabetes devices and they didn't have the knowledge that they have now. So back in the day when he checked his blood sugar, it was through urine and charting for ketones and the charts were just colors and it wasn't the regular blood glucose monitors that we have now. There was no CGM. And now that he has, you know, been through all that and gained his knowledge through education, he just has so, so many years of experience with this disease. The basis of the book is taking the one size fits all outlook and, you know, viewing it as more of an individualized approach. In the book, it gives you a lot of history about diabetes. And there were some things that came up that I didn't even know. He explained it in a way that made sense to avoid blood sugar spikes at certain times or to stay proactive and to always be prepared. There were so many little bits of information where I just thought to myself, oh yeah, wow, that makes sense. Like it gives you a different you know, viewpoint and perspective in managing your diabetes. In this book, it explains many poor habits that we form with using our diabetes devices, but in order to be a proper sugar surfer, you're gonna have to change these bad habits. There was a few things pointed out that described me to the T, and I was like, Ugh. you know, and it gives you like some guidance, like, hey, maybe I could do better. And that's what the book really has helped me figure out. The tools in this book can be used by somebody that uses a pump or uses syringes, somebody on a low carb diet or somebody that eats carbs and either has a CGM or doesn't have a CGM. However, the book does recommend having a CGM. That way you're able to make these quick decisions with your diabetes. Sugar surfing also is called Dynamic Diabetes Management. This book describes diabetes like riding a wave on a surfboard because there is waves that we have to keep in between our lines. A working pancreas actually produces waves of insulin several times a day. So Ponder's approach is we should be riding the waves of diabetes with the tools that we have instead of using a certain formula. Doing X, Y, and Z every single day is not feasible because there's so many variables being thrown our way and this book teaches you how to approach those variables and still get a nice smooth line on your CGM. I think his methods are great because it does really change the way you view your diabetes and how you manage it, and we do deserve a better quality of life. The only thing that I would kind of argue with is that as being a woman, there's certain hormones throughout the month and insulin resistance that has to be combated with and sometimes no matter what you do it's hard to bring those blood sugars down but Dr. Ponder explains that you're going to wipe out and get knocked off your surfboard but you just have to get back up and understand that you're not going to be perfect and there are ways to help 
alleviate those blood sugar spikes. I really enjoyed reading this book. It has taught me things that I didn't even know before. It has given me skills to help better manage my diabetes and it's actually given me more confidence too. I highly recommend this book. It's more than what I expected. Well, that's it for today. If you would like to read Sugar Surfing, I have left a link down below in the description and I look forward to another video soon. Bye guys.